When speaking of the beast in Rome, Daniel stated that he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. This prophecy happens to be the most graphic characteristic of Antichrist to date. This just has to be the easiest way to expose the beast system in Rome. This also has a lot to do with why the mark of the beast is what it is. And for those interested, I have all the info anyone would need regarding this on my Mark of the Beast page on the website, of course. And so I'm not going to go into detail about it here because I've already done quite a few videos on this already. But suffice it to say, the Bible clearly says the Mark of the Beast has to do with who we choose to worship in the end of days. In fact, this is the final warning given out to mankind right before the plagues begin. And so Satan is going to do all he can to make sure as many as possible worship him on his own fabricated Sabbath so as to prevent them from worshiping the God of the Bible on the true Sabbath. As prophesied, the enemy of souls is going to use the Vatican to demand all nations ignore the true seventh-day Sabbath of the Creator God so as to bow to their Roman Sabbath of Sunday. And yes, this is why Satan recently used Rome to move the Jews and the Seventh-day Adventists to keep Sunday holy due to the fact that they are the ones known to be keeping the true Sabbath of the Bible. Getting them to bow to Rome's Day of the Sun would make it far easier to get all of the rest to agree with Rome regarding changing the law of God exactly as the prophet Daniel predicted they would. This characteristic of Antichrist is their masterpiece of deception, as most Christians believe to this day that Sunday is the Sabbath, while at the same time it is the Lord's main method of exposing the man of sin in Rome due to the fact there's not a single Bible verse from Genesis to Revelation to back the Pope's claim regarding his so-called Sunday Sabbath. And I prove that in detail in this group of videos. Due to the prophecy of Amos being fulfilled right before everyone's eyes in our generation alone, most people today don't study the Bible and so they are totally unaware that the Bible not only says the Sabbath of the God of the Bible was never changed in both the Old and New Testaments, it also declares quite clearly via the prophet Daniel that it would be the beast system in Rome that would not only try to change it, they would boast about changing it by speaking great words against the Most High God of the Bible. That all being said, Check out just a few of many of these long prophesied boasts of the son of perdition in Rome. Perhaps the boldest thing, the most revolutionary change the church ever did happened in the first century, which, by the way, is a lie. They never really tried to change the Sabbath until 321 AD. But it goes on to say that the holy day, the Sabbath, was changed from Saturday to Sunday. The day of the Lord was chosen not from any direction noted in the scriptures, but from the church's sense of its own power. Sunday is a Catholic institution, and its claim to observance can be defended only on Catholic principles. From beginning to end of Scripture, there is not a single passage that warrants the transfer of weekly public worship from the last day of the week to the first. And as for the prophecy of all the world wandering after the beast, notice what this Catholic priest says regarding how so-called Protestants obey the popes of Rome, even to this day. It says it was the Catholic Church by the authority of Jesus Christ, which again is another lie, which has transferred this rest to Sunday in remembrance of the resurrection of our Lord. Therefore, the observance of Sunday by Protestants is an homage they pay, in spite of themselves, to the authority of the Catholic Church. And these next two quotes lock it down in infamy for they even declare this change to be their mark. Of course, the Catholic Church claims that the change of Saturday Sabbath to Sunday Sabbath was her act, and the act is a mark of her ecclesiastical authority in religious things. And then this last one says, Sunday is our mark of authority. The Church is above the Bible, and this transference of Sabbath observance is proof of that fact. And for those that don't believe they will ever enforce their mark of a Sunday Sabbath directly against the unchangeable law of God, notice what Pope John Paul II said in his Dies Domini back in 1998. He said, 
that Christians will naturally strive to ensure that civil legislation respects their duty to keep Sunday holy. Now, if the prophecy about Sunday laws being the mark of the beast is a bogus prophecy, why are they doing exactly as the Bible said they would do? And just so you know, this is why they promoted John Paul II as they did to make him the most popular pope ever. And this is why they made him a saint so quickly. They can use his Dios Domini along with Satan himself standing on earth claiming to be Jesus in the coming days as a way to validate John Paul II's demand for Sunday laws from beyond the grave, as if he's speaking from heaven. Soon, the prophesied calamities are going to get much much worse. And as the loud cry goes forth, causing many people to leave the apostate churches, Rome will demand Sunday laws to try and stop the remnant people from preaching the final warning unto all the world by their claim that keeping Sunday holy will stop the calamities brought on by what they call climate change, but the Bible calls the final signs that herald the arrival of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless.